A sample of chromosomal DNA, also called the genomic DNA, can be used as the starting material for the polymerase chain reaction, also known as PCR. With PCR, an investigator can amplify a single copy of a DNA segment into billions of identical copies. The DNA segment of interest or target DNA is indicated as red. In addition to the target DNA, a PCR reaction contain, contains several other ingredients. These include free nucleotides, DNA primers, and the enzyme TAC polymerase. The primers are typically about 20 nucleotides long and are complementary in the sequence to the ends of the target DNA. TAC DNA polymerase is delivered from hot springs bacteria and can tolerate intense heat for the PCR reaction. A PCR reaction lasts several hours and typically consists of 20 to 30 repeating cycles. A cycle begins by heating the reaction mixture to 95 degrees Celsius. The heat denatures the DNA strands, breaking the hydrogen bonds that hold the strands together. After denaturing the DNA, the temperature is reduced to around 60 degrees so that the primers can form hydrogen bonds or anneal with their complementary sequence in the target DNA. Note that the primers and the target DNA follow base pairing rules. An adenine pairs with the thymine and a cytosine pairs with the guanine. In the next phase, the temperature is raised to 72 degrees Celsius. A TAC polymerase functions optimally at the temperature and begins to polymerize, adding nucleotides to the three prime ends of each primers attached to the DNA strand. After one complete cycle, there are two double-stranded copies of the target DNA formed. The PCR reaction mixture contains mainly copies of the primers and an abundant supply of nucleotides to perform many additional cycles. After a second cycle, there are four copies of the target DNA produced. After cycle 3 is finished, there are 8 copies of the double-stranded target DNA sequence and note that only 2 of the double-stranded copies consist of just the target fragment and the others also including flanking DNA regions. As the number of cycles increases, the products consist of greater proportion of the fragments with just the target DNA increases. After 4 cycles, half of the fragment consists of just target DNA and half of the fragments also contain flanking DNA. With each additional cycle, the number of copies of our target sequence doubles. At the end of 25 cycle, there are more than 33 million copies of this double-stranded target region found.